Hi, I'm Adam from EnglishAcorn.com and in this video we're going to look at the tile maps bar. So let's open up Construct 2, which is where we're going to look at it from. If I pause at all during this video, or if you notice there's a disconnect in my audio or video, it's because I'm pausing due to the sound of the traffic outside, so I apologise for that in advance. Anyway, after opening up Construct 2, you should be met by this page with the start page at the top. If you haven't got the start page at the top because you may have deactivated it loading up on start, then don't worry. But if you do have a start page, come up to the tab, click on the cross to close it, go to file, go to new, and open up a new empty project by double clicking on it, and you'll be met by this screen. Now what is the tile map bar? If you can't see the tile map bar, go up here to view and make sure that this tile map bar has a tick by it. Um, I currently have mine um, tabbed down here but if I right click and click on floating yours may be floating about. To put it in a tab um, in this position where I have it simply click on the tile map on the letters, the, the, the heading, drag it down here and put your mouse cursor ov over the middle image in the center of this and it should tab your tile map bar here now sometimes I call this the tile map window or the tile map tab but I'm referring to the tile map bar when I do. This, is, this video is really an overview of this because I'll go into tile maps in more detail when I cover different object types. Um, at the moment you'll notice that there's nothing in there, just a load of grayed out um, objects. That's because there are currently no tile map objects in the um, layout. If I double click or by right click and click on insert object and then from this menu I scroll down and I select the tile map icon and then I click on insert, press enter or if I just simply double click on this um, I then get to choose to where to insert it into my layout. If I click anywhere, let's say I just click here, it gives me the option recommended project settings for time maps, the time map, uh, sorry time map, the tile map object works best with best with pixel rounding set to yes, point sampling and letterbox integer scale full screen mode. Do you want to use these settings now? And I'm going to click yes, use set, uh, recommended settings. What opens next is an image of the tile map. Um, this is the image that you're going to use to create a tile map. Um, you'll notice that this looks like it's been cut into a 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 section. That's because a tile map is a map made up of tiles. So you normally cut an image, in this case this image here, which is the default image, into how many tiles you want. So I'm just going to click on the red cross, or the white cross and the red background at the top to close this. And now I'm going to hold control and zoom out to show you that now the whole layout has been filled with this tile map, i.e. the tile map has had its size set to the layout size. You'll also notice that right now, the bottom right hand corner, in the tile map tab with the unique ID of zero, a tile map has been created, which is the image I used, and all of these icons are now uh, selectable. If I click on this arrow, that's my normal arrow for navigating around my layout. If I click on the tile map, which you can't see because I haven't put any tiles in yet, it selects it. If I click on this pencil tool, I can select a tile from here, from this image, and then I can actually draw them onto the tile map. Quite simple. Um, to select how many tiles you have in your tile map, or where you slice up your picture to create a tile, you need to click on the tile map object, either by clicking on this normal layout arrow selection, then selecting it, or by clicking on the tile map here or by coming to the objects tab at the bottom and selecting it, whatever you, you fancy, then come, then come across here and changing the tile width and height. For convenience sake and just to illustrate, I'm just going to go over to the tile map so that you can see it when I do this. So currently the tile width is set to 32 and the tile height is set to 32. I'll go into more detail about all these options for the tile map in the tile map objects video but for the moment I'm just going to change these to half of what they are 16 and 16 and you'll notice that now that it has created more tiles in this area and as a result these tiles are now smaller and you can see that these tiles are smaller than they were also on top of that when I now scroll over here you can see that 
it splits up this shape into 16 by 16 pixel tiles and so these are all separate so if I were to want to draw some oops sorry press ctrl z to reposition that if I want to draw some of this I click on the pencil and then I draw it um, but they're a smaller shape there's more of them there's more tiles and so a bit more finite now if I wanted to select a large area such as here and then draw it in so if I select large if I click on that square select the area I want to draw in click on the pencil tool I can then actually place whole sections of the image rather than individual tiles wherever I choose I can also rub out the charts by selecting on the erase tool and it still keeps the same size that I have um, selected with the squ with that square icon and I can actually remove these tiles now you'll notice to the right I can edit the tile collision polygon now this works if I select one tile on its own so if I click on the normal tile um, I can actually select the um, collision for this collisions uh, which is something I'll come to in a later video it's basically where one sprite one object collides with another one and there's a condition where it checks where the the x coordinates of the collision one point meet the x coordinates x coordinates and y coordinates basically the position coordinates of the collision of the other one to confirm there's a collision basically where two objects collide sorry that's probably a bit more simplified um, and each object has a bounding box which is the collision box which is this box here which I'll come to in another video um, and you can change this within the tile simply by double clicking on the tile you want so let's say the table tile and then changing this now I can actually change the shape quite considerably by double clicking on one of these points it creates a new um, handle I can use to edit the shape of this or I can simply click on it click on one of these handles and press delete to delete them so it's very simple to edit um, you can actually select a tile and you can actually flip, flip it horizontal and vertical um, these options if you were to select uh, let's just select this cacti part of it come into here um, oh it's not allowing me to do it here you can at some point flip these individual tiles over and back and change them around um, the other options you have here you can import a TMX to this object and you can actually s export this uh, tile map basically you're importing the tile map and you're exporting tile map so that's basically what tile maps are each tile map has a different um, unique identity so if I were just to reduce the size of this one double click and include another tile map this has this is called tile map 2 it has a unique identity of ID of 1 you can see on the left here and so I know that I've selected that one by confirming the unique identity at the bottom so if I move that to the side and click on the other one you'll notice that the name and the unique identity changes as I click on each one of these so that's basically what tile maps is if you found this uh, video helpful please like the video please subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this please visit my website and if you have any questions please leave a comment in the um, 